Good morning, welcome to the shop. Happy Thanksgiving 2020. And with that comes the holiday season. Lately, I've been getting a lot of female viewers leaving me significant amount of comments uh, regarding my reviews of products that I guess they were researching and uh, either decided to get or not get based on what I was saying. So today, I know that the holidays, Christmas time, whatever, it's hard to make decisions sometimes if you're not familiar with the tools and things that are in a shop. So I'm gonna put together some ideas for you, for your husband, boyfriend, dad, brother, whoever it is in your life that's a guy that you're having trouble buying for. The first thing I'd like to address is any sort of power tool purchase. If you're buying a power tool that claims to be some kind of a catch-all, something that does everything and you can change it around, uh, it's probably not gonna do that one particular task as good as the tool it's made to do, whatever that is. So I like Milwaukee tools. Uh, if your man you're buying for already has a specific tool line that he's into, uh, the batteries tend to be very expensive and it's nice when they all interchange. So if you do decide that they need something or they've mentioned that they need something, just try to stick within the same brand. That way they can interchange the batteries uh, amongst all their different tools. Uh, if you're buying a first time person something, I liked this set very much. It has an impact driver, which works really well, and your standard drill. Uh, I, I forget how much these cost, but I, I've been, this is my second set of these. I wore out the first ones. I'm very happy with the quality. I like these a lot. Uh, DeWalt is another good brand. Uh, the new Craftsman brand, uh, since they got bought out at Lowe's, they are Black & Decker, same that makes the Walt. So there's a lot of good options out there, but that's my favorite. Uh, if you do buy those or an idea to go along with someone that does a lot of work with their impact driver, you can get them tips. Uh, a number two Phillips tip is probably one of the most common. Right there, there's a T25 Torx for deck screws and stuff. Uh, that works really good. Uh, something around the shop that you're always using up and uh, maybe could use more of zip ties. That's a good kind of like catch-all stocking stuffer. Oh, extra batteries. Um, there's all different sizes of these batteries. I unfortunately only have all the small ones. But if the person that you're buying for has a whole bunch of tools and you see that they struggle with the batteries dying, maybe they don't have enough of them for the size projects they do, uh, the higher rated batteries uh, with the more amp hours and stuff, uh, that's something I would definitely be happy to have. Uh, obviously, I don't know your specific person you're buying for, what they do if they're into automotive stuff. Uh, carburetor cleaner, brake cleaner, use that up a lot. In almost any shop, some WD-40 is nice to have extra of or some kind of lubricant penetrating oil. Uh, let's see. One thing that I skimped on for years, I never had a nice complete set of punches, uh, chisels, you know, whatever. I just had mishmash of different things here and there. Uh, you got these things that have that nice focus. They have a nice tip on there if you want to smack a piece of metal or a piece of wood and leave a little dimple for drilling a hole so your drill bit stays in there. Uh, this, this is Mayhew. I got these as a complete set. This is what you see here. Um, nice long punch there i forget what it costs they're american made the, the the steel is nice i like them i've been using them here and there the they're nice that's a good uh moderately priced item idea a uh, nice set of files depending on what the person does in their shop if it's wood or metal uh, a set of files that's good uh, trying to think the brands i've seen at the stores at home depot you can get I know this came in a set from Home Depot with a few different styles. You got the, the one that's round on the back there and flat on the front. Flat, uh, more coarse, round file, fine, triangle. Uh, a nice complete set of those really helps you out if you got to shave a little metal or wood off of something. Uh, I make a lot of, I don't make the handles, but I put a lot of handles in axes and sledgehammer heads and stuff like that. And this is a farrier's rasp. It has a very coarse side on the back. Uh, what would, I guess, comparatively be coarse compared to most of your normal files, but 
the finer side on here. And this is really nice for shaving off a lot of wood. Uh, it works on metal. You know, it's made for horses' feet. But, uh, a farrier's rasp is a great idea if somebody you know does a lot of wood shaping. Uh, something you see at the big stores a lot, Lowe's, Home Depot, these sets of drill bits. And sets that have a bunch of tips in there. Tips are something you're always using and breaking and losing. Uh, you know, I'm not attesting to any specific brand's quality here, but as a catch-all, it's nice to have extras laying around. So I, these were on sale one time, way cheap, five bucks for each of these boxes. I got those. That's a good catch-all gift idea because tips and everything are always getting broken. Uh, some rope, I threw that here. It's always nice to have a little rope in the shop. Uh, masking tape, duct tape. You can see my roll of electrical tapes almost out. Those are nice things that if, if you get them, even if you have a bunch of it, you're gonna use it eventually. So that's good to have around. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that tape measures are kind of a wear item. I always have bunches and bunches of them. These were on sale at Lowe's. They were, God, like, I forget, $10 a piece or whatever for a whole bunch of them. They're made, you know, Stanley bought out craftsman there so they're the same one thing i like about the craftsman one is the you can see that's yellow i've become a fan of this white background on the tape i like that but uh, any halfway decent quality tape measure is nice to have extra of you could get a ton of these pencils they're always getting used up in the shop pencils you see those laying around sharpie markers are good in the shop uh they smoke a cigar case. My sister got me this a few years ago. This thing's really nice quality. It's almost like a Pelican case. Uh, Bluetooth speaker. I like that a lot. I got that this year. Uh, my dad prompted me to get one. It's nice to have some music in here. Usually I just sit here in silence. Let's see, wear things. Uh, if your loved one there has a grinder, whether it's four inch, four and a half inch, you just need to know the size. Uh, extra sanding wheels, a wire wheel, regular grinding wheels, cutoff wheels. Uh, depending on what they do, it might be nice to have some extra of those. What else do we have here? If your loved one doesn't have any sort of torch set up in their shop. I have an oxyacetylene, but uh, I tend to use this most of the time. It's just your regular canister there with the, the top. It's, uh, you gotta heat something up. It's nice to have that around. Uh, I have duplicates, triplicates. So every toolbox has a multifunction screwdriver. The one I use all the time is the channel lock. It's made in America, I like it. It's been holding up good. It's all oily because I was using it. These are excellent to have around. Just be careful if you find one that's too cheap. They are really, really crappy. Like this one's very good. It's only, I think, $8. That channel lock one I like a lot. What else do we have here? Uh, regular tongue and groove pliers. This Canipex brand. I know it looks like Nipex. That's how you want to say it. But I called their customer service number to find out. These are German made. Uh, I had gotten this in a set. And it came with wire cutters and needle nose. Uh, it was on Amazon. I, I forget how much it cost. They're not cheap, but they're very, very nice to use. So if you're gonna buy any sort of tool items, something like that's not bad. Even if you end up with duplicates, you have multiple toolboxes, you can put things in there. Uh, as much as I like their uh, wire cut, uh, needle nose, this particular channel lock needle nose, I really, I don't know, I've just been liking it better. You can tell which tools I use the most, they end up in the front. Um, I'm not a big Harbor Freight tool person, but this Bremen brand of Vice Grips, uh, I had made a video where I tested out a bunch of different brands. These are actually excellent. At the time, there was no American-made options out there. So I bought these, and this is something too, where like once again, if you're, I think this set was $8, which was really not a, a bad price if you compare them to their competitors. Even if you have two or three or four of those, you put them in different toolboxes and stuff, it's great. Um, I'm a big fan of these Stanley uh, 
razor knives, you can put it out and push the button, you take the blade out. You can see I got three of them here. They're just, you know, for a few bucks, it's just something I like to have extra of. Let's see, I guess those are some good catch-all stuff. That's what I threw on the bench there. Like I said, even files are a wear item, chisels are a wear item. So even if the person you're buying for already has that stuff, uh, you know, there's, they get dull over time. Uh, I'm not endorsing this specific set, but this is something I saw at Home Depot that I got. These are actually little bitty files, and they're very handy to have around because every once in a while, you got your your files like that are too big and you got something you need to just smooth out or shave a little bit. Uh, I like that set a lot. Uh, similarly, you know, like I said, this I'm not endorsing this specific one as anything special, but this little screwdriver set. Um, sometimes a jeweler screwdriver, you need something with all sorts of little different types of tips. This has a lot of different things. I like that. I, you know, I don't use it all the time, which is why it being a little bit of a cheaper brand isn't a big deal, but it's nice to have around. I think these are in the vicinity of $10, so they're a good handy kind of stocking stuffer type thing. Uh, now I'm going to move into my, my power tools on my other bench, and I'm going to give you some ideas and cautions there. So if you're considering getting some kind of a bench grinder for your loved one this this is something i would specifically talk to them about i wouldn't just get something for them because everything's kind of specific to what you want to do this this was a gift from my dad obviously my dad knows the kind of stuff i do i really like this one the uh, multi-tool usa it, like I said, I, I like this. It's got all the different things. I'm getting some accessories for it. Uh, I like that. But that's not something you want to roll the dice on if the person that you're buying for, maybe like this was expensive. Maybe they don't need one that good. Or maybe they don't need the, the sanding thing. Whatever. You, you're going to get some stuff like that. Uh, just be careful. And you got like a, you know, smaller bench grinders. Just be careful with stuff like that. Uh, I have a drill press here. I don't use it all the time. This is a Ryobi. That's like the cheaper uh, Home Depot brand there. It, it's very good, but same thing. It, depending on what the person does, it could be too much or too little or not the right quality that they're looking for. Uh, but if they do have a lot of stuff, uh, I, before I'd mentioned those cheap sets of tips and drill bits, uh, it's always nice to have one more expensive set of American-made drill bits. If you can get that for somebody, that's nice. I keep these on the side for when I really need something to go well. Uh, they're not my regular trashy ones. Uh, I picked this set up. I've used this in the past. I haven't uh, used this particular one yet, but these go in the drill press and sanding discs go on the outside you put it in there it spins it's very nice for for smoothing out or shaping something that's inside of a curve uh, something nice to have around yeah, so my welding cart here is a mess uh, welding can get very expensive very fast i'm not by any means a professional in this uh, odds are if the person you want to buy for is some kind of a professional you really don't want to be buying them stuff uh, if they're doing something in their garage or, you know, just home stuff, uh, this this is like $2,000, this setup I have here. Uh, it's expensive for something that if you're just getting into a hobby or something. There's good brands out there you can get. I've seen a lot of good reviews on YouTube from the Harbor Freight brands of welders. Uh, my dad bought a stick welder slash MIG welder off Amazon, the Forney brand. He's pretty happy with it. Uh, they also have a plasma cutter um, Forney makes. I got that from my dad last year. Uh, he really liked that. So there's things out there, but you, you really got to know what you're getting into, what they're going to use it for. So run purchases like that past the person. Same thing with table saws, circular saws, any of that stuff. Just, just be a little bit careful with that quick run through my stuff that I keep down here. The way I like to organize my tools, I have like a specialty box of things that are not what you use all the time. I have my, my regular uh, standard 
sockets and tools and stuff in there. Then I have metric, then I have an electrical box and like a, a little catch-all box over there. Then another spot, I have a plumbing box and stuff. Let's see if anyone sparks some ideas off here. Oh, if the person that you are buying Christmas stuff for doesn't have a set of line wrenches, they're nice to have, uh, standard and metric. Those are very nice. Snap ring pliers, if the person you're buying for works on cars and stuff or whatever and doesn't, if you've ever heard them say, oh, I don't have snap ring pliers, they're very nice to have. Let's see what's in here. Uh, Torx head sockets, Allen head sockets. If uh, the person you're buying for doesn't have those, they're very nice to have, even if you don't use them all the time. Uh, these little things with the Allens in there. I just be careful if this is going to be a, this is good as a little catch-all that's for light duty use, but uh, the, these are not a heavy duty setup. You don't want it for that. Let's see what else. Oh, extra wire brushes are always nice. They kind of get worn. Hacksaw blades. Those are always nice to have extra of. You can always get some safety glasses if you're thinking of something that you need. Uh, hearing protection. These tend to last a while, but it, if the person that you're looking to get stuff for works around things that are loud and you see that this, this spongy area is cracked on their hearing protection, those are a nice idea. So I hope you found some of this stuff helpful. It's I know it's kind of generic and quick, but I, I do hope it gives you some insight. When you're buying tools, quality makes a big difference, like I pointed out with the pliers and the needle nose. You know, socket sets, ratchets, things like that. Uh, if you're buying for a first-time person that's at home, the sets they have at Lowe's and Home Depot and stuff are really good. If, like, if you're buying for a professional, it, where they're getting snap-on stuff and things like that, it's, it's really going to be hard for you to make educated purchases for them. So I would steer away from that kind of tools for, you know, people that are really tradesmen. They, they tend to have what they need and they know the specific quality of what they want to get. There's nothing worse than getting something for somebody and then it's not something they're going to use down the road. Uh, that's why, like, I cautioned with the bench grinders and a welder and uh, the woodworking tools, table saws, chop saws and stuff, just things like that. It's it's better to just kind of ruin the surprise and say, hey, I want to get you whatever this is, what suits you. Um, same kind of thing like I, I pointed out with the, the drill set. There's all different batteries for all different brands. Uh, people are very picky about the brand sometimes if they're already into something. Like I like the Milwaukee. I would want more Milwaukee's if you got me a a Ryobi or a Craftsman or something. Now my batteries don't match and everything's just, yeah, I gotta keep things you know, more organized, whatever the case is. So just keep that stuff in mind. Uh, and like I said, any tool that's selling you a gimmick, like uh, I've been getting a few comments on the, there's that gator grip socket thing that's supposed to fit over all these different sizes. It, it, it's just, it's get the tool that's made to do the job it needs to do. Things that that claim to do a bunch of stuff that typically, you know, it's not all the time, but just get something made for the task. It's so much better. Uh, I hope that gives you a little bit of insight. I know it can get complicated. My channel's small. If you have questions, I'm more than happy to answer you. I typically get back to pretty much every person that comments, I think. So let me know what you think. I hope it helped you. Happy holiday season to you and your family. And I hope to see you again. Take care.